Ciao a tutti ragazzi, benvenuti sul canale di Space Viola. Come potete vedere oggi sono in compagnia, sono in compagnia appunto di Emmanuel Lacroix, che è il, uno dei procuratori di Richardson e insieme al suo collega Sebastien. Ora faremo un po', gli farò un po' di domande, gli chiederò un po' di, di cose, è un'intervista, quindi chiaramente appunto loro non parlando italiano dovranno parlare in inglese, parleremo in inglese, ovviamente voi potrete leggere tramite i sottotitoli tutto ciò, che, tutto ciò che ci diciamo, troverete tutta l'intervista integrale su spesso.com. So, um, hi guys, I'm very glad to, to have you here. Uh, it's a pleasure for me. And uh, thank you very much for, um, for accepting the invitation. So, it's a great pleasure for me. If you agree with me, we can start to try to talk, you know, to, to, we can start to... To, ta to talk about uh, some question about Richardson, uh, his career, and things like those. Uh, my first question for you is that uh, Fiorentina was the only club interested in him, uh, or there were also the or the other clubs that were tracking him as well, as he has done a fantastic Olympic, uh, and he's a very interesting prospect. So I wanted to ask you about that. So uh, to start, uh, Amir was very... Um was a very good player with a high potential and many clubs uh, were interested in uh, in him so uh, we we had uh, Everton Fenerbahce um, and uh, Ajax uh, Amsterdam yeah, Ajax Amsterdam yes yeah, but because uh, the but... coach of Amsterdam knows him from France yeah. because he was uh, the coach of Nice last season Francesco Farioli. Ah, of course, of course, the Italian coach, top coach. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> yes. top yes. coach. Yes, and uh, they were concrete or just, you know, anchoring or something like that? The, all the interest uh, was really concrete. Uh, okay. Because uh, the player talked to all those clubs, uh, as uh, Everton, yeah. Ajax and Fenerbahce, but his okay. choice and his third choice, and the first we talked to, Uh, was um, the coach of Fiorentina, Raffaele Palladino. Uh, we had okay. a visio with him and uh, okay. we felt that the coach really wanted him. And he, he was the first one who made the, the video, uh, who made the video call, sorry. Of so course. Sometimes the first is the best, sometimes the last is the best. But after the first video call, uh, Amir said to me, I feel good with the coach. He's talking. Uh, He's saying good things. They talked about the position on the field and everything. And he felt very comfortable. And the three other clubs came after. But uh, Amir gave like uh, his word to the coach of Fiorentina and to Goretti, the sportive director. So he was really interested to play in Serie A and also to keep his word with Fiorentina, with Mr. Prade and everything. So Paladino was crucial to make him uh, join Fiorentina? Yeah, uh, everybody was crucial. Uh, the okay. first person uh, who we had to talk about is uh, Diego Tavano, the agent of Bove, sure. because that's him who, who made the contact between uh, Emmanuel, me and the club. Sure. And he said that Fiorentina has, have a big interest. He knows well uh, Mr. Goretti. So the first call was with Mr. Goretti, but without Amir. So we okay. talked about everything, about the project of the club and everything. And after the call of with the, the coach was, uh, yes, the coach is the most important for us. Because, of course. you know, that's him who, 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 may, who, who put, him, put him on the field and oh, that's sure. him who make the team. So the coach is the, the most important thing, of course. But the, the course. other was concrete also. It took to huge coach. I'm not gonna yeah, tell it. I can't names, imagine. <laughs> but we we really want it also. But I think the Serie A is perfect for him to make a to make a step and to maybe uh, if his career is gonna gonna be as we hope and to go maybe in few years in a big big team maybe in other countries. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. And do you think that if it's better in a midfield with two players or three, for example, in a 3-4-1-2 or in a 3-5-2? Something like that, you know, it, which it, kind it, of midfield it, is it, best for him? It can be both. Uh, I think Amir's yeah. uh, best position for him is to play like uh, eight, 
Okay. Not too not too low and not too high on the field, but he played all the positions since he started as professional. He can play like a ten. He can play in front of the defender like a, a six. But his best position, the 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 position where I feel better, it's like a number ten. Uh, a number yeah. eight. Sorry. Eight, eight. Sorry. Eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Eight, eight. Okay, okay. Don't eight. worry. Don't worry. Yeah. And uh, what are the expectations for this season? I know that it's not easy, you know, to adapt in uh, a short time, um, especially because it's not an easy championship, the, the Serie A one. So I wanted to ask you, what are the, accept the expectations? Because we saw uh, that he has a very good potential, but of course there will be a lot of players in that kind of position, so it's not so easy, you know, also to have a lot of play time. So I wanted to ask you also on your point of view, what are the expectations for this year for him? Expectations are to play the, the, the more game he can play. Uh, in all clubs, uh, there are a lot of players. You know, the midfielder, for the midfielder, it's a position where there are in all the good clubs, between five and eight players. So he has to be better than the other one. He has to work a lot and uh, to play uh, as much that he hope. But of course, there are maybe 55, between 55 and 60 games a year. And sometimes games on the three days. So when he will go to the bench, uh, there won't be any problem. He, he has to prove to the coach, to everybody, to the fans and everybody, that he, de he deserved to, to play uh, a lot, but uh, we don't know yet. Of course, of course. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And how is he How is he adjusting in the new environment? He is enjoying the, the new environment. How, how is it going from this side? No, the environment is so nice. Firenze is one of the best cities in the world. So if he doesn't like yeah. the city, <laughs> it's going to be difficult. <laughs> no, yeah, no, you're he right. Find, he, found his, he found his house uh, six minutes from uh, Viola Park. Okay. Uh, we visit for the first time with Emmanuel uh, one month ago, and I think it's the maybe the, the nicest center in the whole world. Yeah. So he's training in, in very, very good uh, situation, and he has his house now six minutes from the center. So, no, he feels very comfortable. He feels very good in uh, Firenze. Nice. And uh, the Viola Park was important also to make the choice to, to, to join Fiorentina? Yeah, or yeah, it was because, a plus? yes, because we we're, no, it, it was a plus. It was not that important, uh, but it was important because uh, they sent us uh, some videos and everything, and we were really uh, impressed by the center. Of course. It's amazing. Yes, yes. It's something very, very, very huge. Well, I don't think that there are comparisons in uh, in Europe. I don't know if the world, there are no. other uh, other centers like this, so. but it's something very, very good. Something very good. And um, when did Fiorentina came to, to you and started to express their interest to you? There was a specific time or it was happening uh, in you know a short time when uh, when they called you and then you, you found the agreement or uh, it's an interest that they are manifesting since a lot of time or also maybe before this summer if my memory is good i think it's after the the second game of olympic games okay because amir uh, was uh, so good at olympic games and after yes. the second games that's when Diego Tavano called me because we are friends and partners in Italy and in France. And uh, he said to me, uh, may we have a call with Emmanuel Lacroix because Emmanuel is talking about all the administrative things and money. And I'm talking about all the sportive projects. Understand. So uh, he wanted to make a call with Goretti and Emmanuel. Uh, to talk about project, to talk about uh, contract and everything. And uh, if my memory is good, it's after the second game of Olympic Games. Okay, understand, understand. And uh, did he speak with other teammates or uh, just with the coach before his arrival? Because, uh, of course, now Amrabat is not anymore in Fiorentina, he's in Fenerbahce, but uh, if I remember, if, if uh, my memory is good... Uh, 
uh, Amir mentioned Sofiane also in the press conference. So I wanted to ask if maybe he has talked also with other teammates before yes, joining. Yes, of course. Or... He, he, to he talked. He talked. He talked to. Uh, he talked to Sofiane. Okay. Uh, and ask about the club, and Sofian said uh, for sure good things. So it was also uh, it was also nice to talk to him because they are in the Morocco uh, Morocco national team together, and Sofian said that it's a great club with uh, big installations and everything, a lot of uh, fans, and uh, yeah, it was uh, a point of it of his decision also. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Okay, thank you very much. And um, now I will ask you something more general about Fiorentina. Like, uh, what are you what are your expectations for Fiorentina campaign? How far do you think that they can go this season with the new arrivals? A lot of um, you know also departures because Milenkovic, Amrabat, Gonzalez have been uh, have been sold, but there are also a lot of new players like Goodmanson, Amir, and etc. Uh, etc. Et so, what do you think that Fiorentina can do? This, uh, this campaign? Uh, we think, uh, I don't know what we think, but we hope that yeah. uh, they make they make uh, a good um, a good uh, championnat, a good, uh, I don't know to say in English, but that they, they do, yeah, that they go do yeah. a good championship because they have good players. Uh, for the moment, you know, only three games left it, um, in a championship. So the team mm -hmm. is new with new players. Maybe it's gonna take some weeks, some months to 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 see what's gonna happen. But we 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 thought about everything before signing, and we think there is a strong team with a really good coach, with good persons persons on the staff and everything. And we hope that they can qualify to a new European Cup next season and to go. Because I knew I know that they lost uh, two last season at the final yes. of the Conference League, so maybe yes. they could win this season. Yes, maybe this season will be a, a bit more difficult because there is Chelsea. But let's see, uh, let's see. We never know until uh, until something happens. Also, we need to understand how the things will go with the new coach and etc. etc. But I believe that. Uh, Yes, Fiorentina at the hand. No, but a... I think the, the, the team. I think the team is strong. Yes, uh, it can take a little bit time because there is few new players. Sofian left, uh, of but course. there are good players who came also, and uh, they get they, they have to to get a bit of uh, confidence uh, to to play their football. But I think all the players are good in the team, so um, I hope the best for them. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. And now I will, I will answer. I will ask you a question about uh, um, maybe some uh, goals that may he has with Morocco, no? Because he had a, brilli a brilliant Olympics with Morocco, and I wanted to ask if you do, you, do, you have any specific goal or expectation for the upcoming events with the national team, as like you know he, he has done something amazing during these uh, Olympic games, so. Olympic. Olympics, yes. So I wanted to ask if uh, you have already some specific goals or expectation uh, for the for the upcoming upcoming uh, no, games. No, no particular goals. Uh, the goals of Amir are uh, very high. Um, he's very. He has a lot of humility, but he knows that with work and uh, everything, he can become a really huge player. Uh, so his goal is to play um, of, as often as possible with the national Moroccan team. There are so huge players in Moroccan team yes. also, so he, he has to to get his place in the in the as a starter, and it's not going to be easy. But he's 22, so he has time, and I think the of course biggest objective is the next uh, World Cup. And to be on the on the field as a starter in two or twenty six, sure. that's I think his first goal with the national Moroccan team. But he has to prove before. But we really trust on him. We're really very confident on him because he is very a typical player. And if he works good, I think he will be a really really huge player. 
he has all the qualities to be a huge player absolutely yes absolutely. yeah yeah i understand and uh, computer give it you and uh, uh referring especially about this uh, this topic what which area do you think that he can still improve and what do you consider his strengths improve maybe aggressivity okay uh, intensity maybe um with his head in offensive um to get goals to to make to to score with his head because he's very especially good. because he's very tall no <laughs> yeah yeah he's all, all, uh, almost two meter so yeah. in defensive is so so good but he he has to to be better with his head and to score like three four five goals a year he's got to improve on this uh and intensity of course but amir is uh, like a special player you know like uh, how can i say i don't want to 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 be pretentious but um it's like um an artist a genius so you have to take him with his quality and default is going to work on his default but his best quality is is uh big intelligence uh his past quality to break the lines uh, the way he, he feel the, the 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 game uh he has so many qualities you know because he's so tall and is a uh, left foot yes and to be left foot almost two meter and so um, come on the uh, technical yeah Yes, he has a very good coordination it, 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 too. It, it, it's it's rare, you know. It's very ele- yeah. it's very elegant, and it's rare to be that tall and to be that technical player. Yes, and he has I also can you know him to anyone. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I my next question would have been uh, if you could compare me with another player, who would be? But you have already replied to me with this. Uh, with this answer and i think yeah, that you are completely to it is really yeah, yes it's really difficult to compare to anyone because he's a so special player yes also because as you told he's almost two meters and he has a fantastic technique technique for, for his uh you know uh length i don't know how to how to say the the right terms in english but uh, yes he's a he has a very good also balance no he's not uh it's not easy also to be coordinated no with the ball and things but i think that he has this quality and he has very very great uh yeah as, as you told yeah he can, he can he can he can score depends where he play on the field but if he plays a bit high he can score he can make assists he can also take balls with his uh big legs uh yes in exactly. the feet in the foot of the the, the opponent you know so he has so many qualities but he has just i think to improve on aggressivity uh because when you see him sometimes on the on the on the field you 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 can think it's not true but you can think that that is a little bit uh you know like a tall player easy yeah like easy but <laughs> he's working a lot he's doing always his best but he can improve in uh aggressivity i think okay okay i have one more question and then i will let you go uh thank you very much for your time again and now thanks, it's not a Manu- question. emmanuel to 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 let me talk in english because uh i you you speak better than me but uh you don't <laughs> want to talk this morning Manu. <laughs> you speak very well okay <laughs> no, no you have been very good you have been very good i completely thank understood you. you thank you very much no thank you very much <laughs> And I wanted also to ask you something about Enzo Lefe because I'm in love with that player. I I think that he's one of the best uh, talents, no, for his age. He's a fantastic player. Yeah. And uh, as you have, you know, recently facilitated this move to Rome, I wanted to ask it uh, if Fiorentina never anchored about him or also their teams because I believe that he's another top talent and that uh, this campaign he can do very, very, very great work yeah yeah uh, uh you tell me you love him but i think we love him more than you uh <laughs> enzo is a, enzo is a totally different player than uh, amir he's a small player yes but it's a magician 
you know, with the ball, we never know yes. what he's going to do. Only him knows. It's a fantastic yeah. player. Who's, yeah, I think, and I hope he's going to have a huge, huge career. And to, re to respond to your question, no, Fiorentina was not here. The only club who were here in Italy, there was a lot of, um, of uh, interest about Germany and England. Okay. Uh, but the okay. only club in uh, Italy was AS Roma. And uh, when he heard the interest about AS Roma, he told us, don't talk to anyone anymore because I want to go there. I want to be coached by Daniele De Rossi. And he knows from, because what you have to know is that uh, Florent Gisolfi, the sportive director of, of okay. uh, Roma, yes. worked two years in Lorient, in the first ah, club, okay. the formator club of Enzo. And when he was yes. 17 and he played his first, um, first um, professional game, Enzo, uh, Florent Gisolfi was the assistant of the coach. So that's the ah, one okay. who put him in the big bus of uh, of a professional team you know so they know each yes. other t since uh, seven or eight years and uh, uh, when Flo Gisolfi called Emmanuel and uh, in said uh, that the um, Enzo was the first priority of the coach and we had the call a video with uh, Emmanuel and the coach also and you can see because there are people who are talking and there are facts but the deal was done on the 10, uh, Ju the July 10. So okay. Enzo was the first player who came to West Roma. Uh, so yes. That's a fact. And they really want him. And when he heard about this interest, he wanted to play in Serie A. And he said to us and to me, because I'm really, really close to to, to, him? to Enzo. He's like a son. He's like a son for me. And mm -hmm. he said to me, said to Emmanuel, not to talk to anyone. I want to join <laughs> IS Roma, no one else. I understand, I understand. Oh, I was just, you know, curious about that because, as I told you, I believe that he's a magician. He's a something, he's a he's talent a, yeah. that is incredible. So I was yeah. just curious about it. If you get confident and everything, I think uh, everybody is going to be, all the fans of the highest Roma, and I know they will be in love with him. <laughs> they're going to be crazy about him. Yeah, okay, yeah. So maybe it's going to take a little bit time. He's a bit injured now. No, no. Uh, but everything's going to be perfect for him that's the perfect club for him he likes expression he likes expression of the you know of the fans of everything when he came yes. first time in the stadium he said to me i was like wow and he needs <laughs> that to be good yeah of course of course it is Thank you very much for your time, guys. Um, You're welcome. I was. I, it's a pleasure for me to have interviewed you. So, thank you very much. Hope uh, you have enjoyed your time, and uh, we we will stay in touch. Thank you very much. Th thanks to you. Thank you very much Friends for your attention, and thanks Emmanuel Lacroix to help me to respond at all the questions <laughs> yeah. because he was yeah. really, really. I will. Really I will. Really. <laughs> best person to speak about Amir and you. Enzo. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. We, thank we you, guys. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank bye -bye. you to you. Bye bye bye. bye. bye.